Robert Schwag Engel here at Union and Natural Bridge. And I always love their commercials because they have a Chinese guy, kind of like a black Chinese guy, a Jewish guy, and a black guy, and they're pretty funny. But anyway, we're here. They're protesting in front of Schwag Engel, and we're going to send our crack reporter, or should we say a reporter on crack, to find out what's happening. Yes. Here we stand in front of Swag Ingles, Swag Ingles, one of the biggest supporters of KTC and WGNU in town. And they support Mr. Richard Onion Harden. And he is a criminal from Jump Street in our community. He's a turncoat and everything else. Now, I would like to turn this microphone over to Jamala Rogers, who's a spokesperson for the black people. I'm just spoken for myself. One of the reasons that we're here today, we represent the Ad Hoc Committee to support Bernie Hayes. And we're here to let people know that this is one of the advertisers for Magic 108 and KTZ that supports the injustice on the airwaves. So we want to let them know that we're going to keep their business at bay and support Bernie Hayes. So that's why we're here. Bernie Hayes was more than just an individual or a person. He was simply one of the major voices in the black community. He was one of the persons that made many things happen for black people in this city, working people and poor people. And I think that it's important that we send a message to K. TZ and this management that hell no, we're not going for that trash that they putting out by doing our brother in and that we think that uh, Bernie's uh, contract should be enforced and that yes, uh, Bernie's uh, program and this format and justice for Bernie uh, should be uh, 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 implemented at once right now. And uh, we have our uh, brother uh, Bernie Hayes uh, being uh, denied his living. I watch these commercials all the time for Shrug and, and they're story. looking for 500 new credit customers. They don't care if you've ever worked a day in your life. And he gonna rip you off for every dollar you got, nigga. Cause he ain't never a Jew boy looking for a dollar bill. You, come on, come on, come with me, come with me. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, come on here. Oh, it's open. Come on, Black, Black. Listen, you can walk in here. You gonna come out with a new color TV or something. How you doing? Yeah, that man. How you doing? Hey, what, what's, what, excuse me, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question, please. Can I ask you about, you see, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. See, a salesman, a good salesman gets his foot in the door. You got to get your foot in the door to make a sale. Well, I want to ask you one question, can I ask you a question? Can I talk to Mr. Schweig or Mr. Engel? I bet Mr. Schweig and Engel, they're probably dead. Probably Mr. Ginsburg is there. But I, tell you, I, I, I illustrated an important point. A good salesman gets his foot in the door to make that big sale. Black! Black! I'm going to to the Wait, wait! Black! 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 Come on, come back! Come back, Black! He's black by popular demand! Black Jesus! He shouldn't have had on that uniform, that. He private duty. He shouldn't have had that uniform on. That gentleman should not have had that uniform on. He's a, he's a deputy sheriff for the city of St. Louis. And I'll be damned if he ain't got to stay the swag on his door. There are times in life when you have to take a stand for a principle that involves no money. Mr. Bernie Hayes was a talk show host, and he is the original talk show host in St. Louis, Missouri. His friend, Mr. Onion Horton, sold him out. Not only did Mr. Onion Horton sell him out, they helped to bring in a white boy, Mark Kaysen, who is now the voice of the black community. And he knows more about the black community now than the original people in the black community. But when you sell out, it is time to move over, as Minister Farrakhan says, and let a real man take the place. Mr. Bernie Hayes has proven to be the real black man in St. Louis. And my name Louis, dude. What's Ooh. your name, dude? My name is uh, uh, Tyrone uh, Tyrone Johnson. Hey, we live on the earth? No, we're not live. We ain't live. Okay. When we just be broadcast? Oh, in a few weeks. In a few. Oh man, well, I'm going to give a shout out to my homeboy. <laughs> you know how it's done, right? We going to give some 
Shouts out to our homeboy downtown. My nigga Ron getting on the buses. Here's a uh, beautiful uh, bedroom suite. I wonder if that's a bra hill. Bra hill. You always hear about bra hill. It seems like a big brand for Hoosiers. Bra hill. But of course we all of us Americans know that there's nothing made in America anymore. It's made in Japan, Mexico, China, and it costs 18 cents an hour of slave labor, okay? And Americans don't have jobs to purchase this stuff. And when you get the opportunity to get some money, these suckers rip you off to the max. They don't charge you any interest for two, three years, but you pay three, four times what it actually cost. Oh, look at this! A big screen! Hey, Black, could you picture that in the living room? Watch the big game on Sunday, huh? How about that, huh? You know, you don't have to work. They don't care if you've ever worked a day in your life. You've got instant credit. It's Schwagingo. As long as you don't miss a payment and then they come after you. Uh, they say uh, no interest if you don't make a payment in three years, but you've got to make your payment schedules, all right? And then they come after this stuff, and you and your mama too, even if she in the graveyard. Black Jesus, if you washed your clothes, you probably weren't one of those, wouldn't you? For those washers and dryers. Hot point. Hot point. They got a hot point in here. You got a hot point too, don't you? <laughs> I sure do have a hot point, Peter. Peter, Peter, come here. Come here, baby. Guess what? Tell him about your hot point. I got a real hot point right here. He wants to tell us all about his hot point. <laughs> Guess what? Ooh. I just make them as I see them. Guess what? That's mean I got 12 up. I ain't gonna increase the number over two up. Yeah, honey. How many we want? Add as many as you want, baby. Well, guess what? They're on the way. Well, what's gonna happen if you make love to a white woman and you die right after it? We'll have a baby. No, what will happen? No, he, I don't know what he meant by this, but he said that if he makes love to a white woman and dies right after it, he's gonna go to heaven. Look at this. I said they were looking for 500 new credit customers. They're looking for 10,000 new credit customers. But you know, you come over here to Schweig Angle and, and you start looking at the neighborhood and you feel a little down. You see the, the trash in the gutter and you think, ah, oh, it's a neighborhood going to seed. Then you get into the Schweig Angle way of thinking. You look in the windows and you see all of this gorgeous furniture. I mean, look at this. Nice Asian style faux ivory print. This, this um, bedroom suite that makes you feel like you just went, went back to Saigon. And you can't accomplish anything in this nation. There's something wrong. He walks. He talks. He drinks water. He eats food. But he's not really alive. He's a statistic waiting to happen. Black Jesus. Black Jesus.